Mom. Did the jackal hear you correctly? That you would at least consider a permanent alliance between your own stone cold self and the fair Elizabeth, which would enable you to take your rightful place as the true father of baby stone cold? I mean, it's, uh, it's up to Elizabeth. I mean, do you really think it's fair to, to dump the entire burden of choice on the maternal one when she's dealing with a crumbling marriage, taking care of the wee well, one in her why, own That's why it's got to be her choice, because she has a lot more to lose than I do. Well, maybe, maybe she's waiting for you to express your feelings on the subject. And those would be exactly what? Well, which would be what? Fine, I would want Elizabeth and her sons to move in here. Score. But not if she's afraid. When I sat through the trial and I listened to what Rick told the jury, I, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a new father, but it, it, it reconfirmed how dangerous my life is. Trial's over. You've been acquitted. It, yeah, but my life hasn't changed. But you want the small stone cold one with you. Not if his mother is afraid for him, Spinelli. J just consider Mr. Corinthos her son's right. Okay, I mean, he's the mob kingpin, right? The godfather, so to speak. And and yet his progeny remains safe. Yeah, all three of his kids were kidnapped a few years ago. It was horrible. Okay, I, I don't mean to disagree in a capricious or annoying manner, but all three of his offspring, they seem fine. I mean, I've only been briefly acquainted with the goddess in training Christina, but I've, I, I've observed Michael and Morgan in the comfort of Mr. Corinthos's well-guarded estate, and they seem more than content. I mean, not, not every kid is an endless supply of automated toys or personal computers or their own limo and driver. Yeah, well, that's nice, but Elizabeth's not going to want her kids to be raised that way. Look, all I'm saying is that Michael and Morgan, they're thriving. They are. Because Carly can handle the danger. That's my point. She protects her kids, but she's not afraid for them. Yeah, I, I know. I, I stand in awe of the Valkyrie. She is, without question, a fearless warrior. I mean, to, I mean, to, to venture abroad with the unhinged one to save you? I mean, that was courageous, if not a wee bit foolhardy. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Carly's not afraid, even when she should be. Jake, it feels so good to hug you. Knowing that it's not goodbye, that you're not going to prison anymore, I can finally admit how terrified I was. <sighs> well, uh, I owe Carly. She really came through for me. And I owe a lot of other people, too. Does that include Elizabeth? Especially her. The fridge of her hugging you is all over the news. I know, I know. Yeah, I was with Lucky when he saw you. He wasn't very happy. I can't say I blame him. Hey, Jace. I love Lucky. He's my oldest and dearest friend. But sometimes what you think you want is not always what's best for you. Okay, I'm just going to come out and say it. Lucky and Elizabeth probably aren't going to survive what happened in court. And I hate that. But I've been pushing Elizabeth to decide what she really wants for herself. Now that the truth is out. And I have a feeling that that might be you. Elizabeth's my best friend. I've been picking up on some things for a while. Jace, I know how much she cares about you. And how close you both still are. I always thought that she was going to end up with Lucky, but he is angry with her all the time. Chase, when Jake was kidnapped, he really lashed out at her. He wanted his life with Elizabeth to be perfect, and it's not. And yes, Elizabeth was wrong to marry him without telling him that she slept with you first, but he's made some mistakes too. I don't know. You know, maybe they're both at the point where they just need to let go. I mean, any decision Elizabeth is going to make is going to be about what's best for her kids. Okay. So what if she decides that you're what's best for her kids? If Elizabeth wanted to make something work with you, how would you feel about it? Look, Emily, you know I love you.
But this whole situation is just a huge mess, and you would be better off if you just stayed out of it. It's good to have you back. I know uh, Carly was pleased she could help you out. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, not that I condone her running off with that nutcase to help you or anybody else. I'm just glad you're back with Sonny full time. Yeah, me too. You know, hotel security really wasn't my thing. Although working with Mrs. C was great, she was very appreciative. She never really listened to my security advice. But let's face it, Carly never really listens to anyone but you anyway. You were in charge of the security installations for Sonny and Carly. I want something similar here. But you already have bulletproof glass. No, Max, but the windows in here are too small. You know, I want to let more light in. I don't want this place to feel like a prison. Yeah, well, I don't blame you there. You spent a long time in jail. Now get with Spinelli, coordinate the uh, security cameras and whatever other surveillance you guys need to take care of. What's up? Is uh, somebody threatening Spinelli? I should say you've never wanted this kind of security here before. The boss in Mrs. C did it because of the kids. Jason? Hey, how are you? I, can you meet me at the Overlook? I have to talk to you about something important. Yeah, I'm glad you, you wanted to meet. Well, something uh, happened that I want you... Can I go first? Because if, if I don't say this right now, I probably never will. I love Jake more than my life. And I want to be his father. I want to be with him all the time I just uh, I just want to be Jake's dad and I don't, I don't want to lie anymore Elizabeth I don't want Jake to grow up believing that some, somebody else is his father I don't want him to find out years from now that the two people who loved him the most didn't tell him the truth because that can make him lose faith in everything okay just hold on please let, just let me finish okay I know how dangerous my life is and I can't I can't change the things I've done or the choices I've made but I swear to you I will protect you and your kids just think we can make a home together okay I promise you I will never bring my business into our home and I'm not going to involve you in any way because I trust you and I know you trust me, and I think that we can, I think that we can build on that trust. I think that we could have a life together. I don't know, I guess I'm, uh, just asking you if you want to, if you want to try. I was bringing the boys. Here today. I, I, I need to know what you think. I need I need you to answer. Two men stopped me in the park. I had camera by my side. Jake was in my stroller. They said they were going to take us and use us as leverage against you. Did they, did they hurt you or the boys? No. Sam showed up with a gun before they could do anything. Sam? I don't know what I would have done otherwise. I couldn't stop thinking, what if they had grabbed one of the boys? I'm sorry. No, I am. Because what you said was beautiful about the life we could have together. Take it all back, aren't you? I just thought we might be able to make this work. But it's too late. Always was.